Hi everyone, what's up? We're back with another video. And guess what? Today's video is going to be about making a custom badge notification. Anyways, let's get started. So first off, let's disable the default badge notification by making a local script inside of starter player scripts. We can do like, um, what's it called? Game get service starter GUI uh, set core um, badges um, notifications active ah active let me do false that just disables the notification perfect okay now oh, we got that we can also name that to just be more organized <laughs> and then we can name it like <coughs> Um, disable notification badge. Here we go. Quite a long name. Oh well. And now let's actually work on the UI for it. So let's just go to screen UI. We could make this, um, we can name it badge. Yeah, just badge would work, I guess. And we can get a frame for the background. And like that, a text label, and this, and then we name this title, since this is going to be the title for it, we can bold it, okay, now that we got the title, we can then make another label, and this will be called description Let me, actually I guess I could stay in the center but yeah we will name this description okay now that we got those final one would be image label and we can also scale that a bit like that so it can actually fit better with everything. There we go. Although these are actually fitting out of the screen. No, we don't need that. <laughs> we could just make these extend a bit more. Why not? Won't hurt. Okay, cool. Now that, oh yeah, we also got to name this icon. Now that we got all of these, we could just Close it up and put it into replicated storage. Now, time for the actual scripting of the notification. So, let's add a module script into the server script service. Name this like um, badge UI. Oopsie, not server script service. That is a not a good thing to do. You do not want to name your services. A module script. Badge. UI. Okay. Actually, that's no, okay. Then we do function module dot. And then we can have the function name to be like open UI. I forgot how. Functions work. Okay, I guess that works then. Right, cool. And now we also got to get the user ID and badge ID. Now that we got those, we could do local name equals game get service players um, get name from user ID async. And then we just put in our user ID. Uh, just gets the name of the user. And now we could do local uh, badge UI equals game get service replicated storage and then dot badge. But then we gotta clone it. So, and then yeah, it's cloned. Now this is basically like instance.new. 
So it's just using the clone now. Okay, now that we got that, we can actually um, work on the visual stuff. So we could do bad UI dot parent equals game get service players and then if we could do name dot player to UI. No, actually no. We can explain the code when we're done. Now time for adding the titles and stuff. So we could do bad UI dot frame dot title dot text equals um would be again game dot bad service um get badge info async and then inside of that we do badge ID and now after that we do dot name and we just copy and paste these over but then this would be description and this would just be description description Ah, uh, description. I don't know how to spell. I hope that's how you spell it. <laughs> but now for the icon, this is more complicated. So we do um, icon image ID. And then from here, we do HTTP slash slash www.roblox.com slash assets slash asset slash question mark id equals and then we add it on to this and then we want it to disappear after like let's say 10 seconds so we could do wait 10 bad ui destroy now if you want you can make this way more complicated with tweens and stuff but you can watch a different video on how to learn tweens if you don't know already. But yeah. Now time to explain how everything works. So how you get the name is going to game, getting service, getting the service of players. All of these are services. And then from then, from the, from there, you get the name of the user from user ID. From inside of here. Which then we plug in the user ID which would then get the name of the user. So then that's how we get the name. And then badge UI, we just go into game to get in the service of replicated storage, and then going into badge, and we clone that. So then it basically duplicates like that. And then it goes into the parent of game, into players, and then the name variable, since this is how you put a variable into the, like the whatever these things are called and then that would be for me it'd be zu 6 n dot player gui that just go into my player gui that's like that so then it'd go into there and voila and for the text it's just getting the badge it's going to the badge service getting the info of the badge by using the badge ID and then getting the name, description, and icon and image ID. And the reason you need this is because that's how the images work. You don't, you need more than just the image ID. Okay. And then destroy, just destroys it. Okay. Wonderful. Now we can make our script that gives the user a badge you could do like local badge service equals game uh, equals game get service badge service and then after that we could do like oh yeah local id equals and then badge id well you plug in your badge id there 
Let me do um, game dot players dot player added connect function player. Well, yeah, player. No, we could do like local user ID. So now we could just do UID equals um, player dot user ID. Then we do if not bad service um, user has badge async and then UID ID. And then we could award the badge, so badge service. Award badge. And QID badge ID. And then we can actually, we also got to get the script for the UI, the module script, the module script that we coded earlier. Your local badge UI equals game get service uh, service group service and then dot badge UI but actually we want to require this and actually we could just do game dot um, server script service let me put these in parentheses. I think that's a parenthesis. I don't know. Now that we got all that, that should work. Oh yeah, we know. We also got to get the badge UI dot. Let me find the name of this. So it's open UI. We do open UI and then the user ID. So then, so the user ID is UID and badge ID is ID. Perfect. Now it should all work. I don't know. We also got to plug in our own badge. I do. So let's do that. Uh, okay, cool. Now that we got our badge ID, we can actually play. As you can see, nothing has really changed in our scripts. Oh, nice. And also, um, we can rename this to be like welcome badge. Also, that's like a pretty easy way how to make a welcome badge. Very simple, very easy. Wonderful. Okay, well, let's go test it in our game, shall we? Okay. We are here testing the game, but it doesn't seem like it worked. So let's see why it didn't work. It's because we didn't publish our game. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we should also probably go to our UI. Yeah, we can turn on the intro. This that we actually I made a tutorial on um, earlier this week, I think. So you should all should go check that out. Let's publish this. Okay, it's published. Now let's play our game. I'll see y'all there. Okay, we are loading into our game. And, well, I kind of forgot something. The last time we tested it, it gave us the badge ID. Well, it gave us the badge, but you know, I disabled it. And that was when the thing wasn't working. So we got well, that was on, yeah, you get my point. Anyways, I'm gonna delete it from my inventory and I'll relaunch. See you there. Okay, everyone, what's up? We are back, and voila, it gave us the welcome badge. And if you want, you can add a wait statement before it, and then after 10 seconds, it should go away. Right? Come on. I think it's been 10 seconds. This could be just the longest 10 seconds of my life. 
Okay, well, seems like something went wrong there. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Oh, icon. Oh. Well, that's why it didn't work. The icon doesn't work. So, yep. Yeah, well, I'll cut to when I fix. Well, actually, no. Since you'll need to see how it works, so we do image. Voila! <laughs> The most simplest fix ever. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the game. Okay, hey everyone, what's up? So I added a wait fun a wait statement as well. So five seconds, and then it should appear. There we go. It works now. And after ten seconds, it should disappear. So we got some time to uh, kill. Let's just push around these. Oh, so this is the f oh, there we go. It disappeared. This is my failed attempt. Oh, well, this is when I was doing a YouTube video on how to make instance dot new. But, you know, I kind of give up on that. But, hey, if y'all really want to see it, I will do it, alright? Just tell me in the comment section below if you really want me to post this video. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the tutorial. Hope you have a great time using this in your games. And good luck. Have fun. See y'all. Hopefully tomorrow. Just I'm probably not going to make a video tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye. And, yeah, goodbye.